Good morning and welcome back everybody. For those of you who may not know me or are new to the channel, I am Sam Flores at Flax Fever Fishing. Today we are headed to Boquilia Fishing Pier. We are in search for some of the bigger spawning fish that should be in the area right now. Southwest Florida this time of year, we have a lot of sheephead around the pilings, docks, rocks, anything really that holds structure and nice flowing current, you're gonna find sheephead this time of year. So with that being said, let's get at it. There's a couple nice ones down there. Yeah, I just started to see some big ones before. They were all small. There's a really nice one right there. We'll see. It is, bro. Happy birthday. Thanks, bro. How you been? Long time no see. I know, man. You've been lost. No, I've been out here in the pier. But <laughs> yes. I've been know. coming every couple of times, a couple of days a week. Yeah, that's my first time this week. I didn't. I, was, I nailed the fuel on the other day. Oh, did you? They said yesterday they were doing good. Yeah, that's what you get them on there. barnacles or? I was using oysters. There you go. They're starting to come in with the tide. There's a yeah. ton of them right here. There we go. It's a decent one. Yeah. Uh, probably 11, 11 and a half, 12. Watch out guys, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, then come back. He's wrapped, bro. Oh. He keeps trying to wrap. Look, he's deep. There you go. Oh. Good job, guys. In the net, in the net.
I snuck right here. Of course, pelicans are waiting for it as well. There's about four or five nice ones down there. Let's see what happens. Yep, they're waiting. Yeah, people start filleting and they they come out. Okay. Okay. Oh. No, you don't want to spook them. They'll come get it. inches on up. videos let's get it going baby hit him up good guy he was the net guy peace <laughs> pittsburgh 412 baby there you go <laughs> take a bad texture either <laughs> he saw he went for it did he yeah, yeah. i think it you got it yep yeah. oh, oh, yeah. net net Take that off, put a piece of that row, the eggs out of there. That's what I caught this one on. This is the one on the right side. The eggs, the row. Yep. Put that big old chunk on there. That's what I had. Look, see it? Come on, King. All you. It's <laughs> awesome. It looks like slot three. There she goes. All right, boys and girls, we are finally back at the house. It turned out to be a really good trip. We went out and searched for bigger spawning sheep's head. Um, started the day off on a few males here and there, nothing really to talk about. We decided to wait on that current to flip and start coming in. I'm glad we did. Once that current flipped, big females started coming in from the Gulf along with the males chasing them. Um, we were able to harvest three or four really nice ones. However, we also hooked into some nice snook as you guys saw the smaller one and the one that broke me off before that one were on live shrimp but the upper slot that i caught behind the fillet table was on sheep's head row or eggs the little sack of eggs um kind of surprising not really because they were staged behind the fillet table just taking anything that fell really and devouring it however i've never caught one on row and it was a first for me I'm curious to know though, what is the craziest thing you guys have caught a snook on? Um, let me know. I'm, I'm really curious to know now. I've caught them from anywhere from mullet bellies to ladyfish, lizardfish, shrimp. I mean, you name it, but I've never used roe on snook. But it produced and it was a very welcome surprise. 
But that's it, guys. That's all I have for you today. Um, I want to shout out to my new buddy, Vince, from the pier. Um, thank you for that net job. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was awesome fishing with you. Um, hopefully, we'll see you soon. Make sure to like, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like. Hit the notification bell on the bottom. Whenever I upload, it'll notify you guys. And as always, love you guys. God bless and take care. Till next time.